How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Allison as recorded by Elvis Costello on guitar. This is an incredible song in the key of E. Now it's a little bit more of an advanced lesson. We're going to have quite a few bar chords and some slash chords but I'm going to break it all down for you step by step, show you every part of the song, all the sections and the chord voicings that I would use to go through and play rhythm guitar. If I was playing this on electric guitar and I would use pretty much the same chords as well on acoustic guitar. Now before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with something right away. I've got a free book that you can download all about soloing at the first link down below. And with that book, you'll also get some exclusive videos that are not on YouTube. This is a training series that's all about blues guitar. So I wanted to hook you up with that right away for checking out this video. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Allison as recorded by Elvis Costello on guitar. Now I'm going to be using a lot of slash chords, so my thumb's going to be coming over quite a bit. And then I'm also going to be doing a lot of rhythmic hits. So different rhythms here with the chords. I'll start off with the intro section, which goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so funny to be then we're into the verse there so I started out with like an E triad but I've got a B in the bass so that's like seven and then nine 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 and that's the same chord that's in you know beast of burden so we start off with this one and two and three and then we go to, to a B chord. So it's like an E over B to a B. And that's going to be 7, 9, 8, 7. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. And then we'll go G sharp minor to A, C sharp minor to B, like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So... I'm doing little rests in between one and two and three and four and then we go F sharp minor to G sharp minor like this one and two and three and four and then G sharp minor to B and this time I'm playing the B you know here on the second fret second position and sometimes I'll play B7, like we're gonna use that chord later as well, or you could use B, they, they can be kind of substituted for each other. So the last two bars go one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And the whole intro goes four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three. Oh, it's so funny to then we're into the verse, and that goes like this. Oh, it's so funny to be seeing you. So that's the first eight bars. So I played A, two, three, four to E, two, three, four. Then again, A. Now this time, G sharp minor, C sharp minor. And you can do these, you know, like that if you don't want to do the thumb chord or. Then we walk down. So it's one and two and three and four. And that's a B again. Then A, two, three, four. Then G sharp minor. C sharp minor, two beats each. One, two, three, four, then D, two, three, four, then B7. Okay, so here's the first eight, one more time. One, two, three, oh, it's so A, two, three, back to E. Thank you. 
Okay, then we got the next section, which is like, I'm not gonna get too sentimental like those. into the chorus. So this is very similar to what we just played for the first eight bars of the verse. The difference here is that we're going to be going in bar two, instead of playing an E, we're going to play G sharp minor to C sharp minor and then B like this. So one, two, three, four. So we start on the A. One, two. Gonna get too sentimental like those. Then we repeat that. A, two, three, we do it three times. Two, three, four. Then again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then to the D, B7. And a lot of times I'll leave off that little walk down because I'm walking up on the third time. So the third time you can play A, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then D. Then B7. Then the chorus. Allison. My aim is true. Okay, so here we've got a little eight bar chorus here. We're gonna play A, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. Then we have these rhythmic hits like I talked about at the beginning. So this is gonna go A, then. So that's A, then I do over C sharp to B, then over F sharp to G sharp minor. So one, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and, so and a one, and then C sharp minor, B. So two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So the first four bars of the chorus are one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, Two and three and four and then A, E, then A to B. My aim is true. E, two, three. Let's see, you got a husband now. Then you're back to the verse and we go back, do everything again. Now, after the second chorus, da, da, da. Then we go. My aim is true. And we just fade out on this D to B, E, then A. D to B, E, then A. Have fun practicing Allison by Elvis Costello. Make sure to take it slow, and if you need to count out those rhythms, that's a great way to really just internalize the rhythm is counting out loud. And then you'll find after you do that quite a bit, you won't need to anymore. You'll just know the rhythms and you'll have internalized them. All right, well, don't forget to download my free book all about soloing and get the blues training at the first link down below. Again, these are some exclusive videos that are not on YouTube. They're only on my site, johnmcclennan.com, which has a ton of great resources if you're looking to dive deeper with guitar. So check that out. As always, leave any comments down below for song requests here on the channel. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.